And hello everyone, uh, my name is Sapphire Parsons. I'm a senior associate in the workplace team at KHQ Lawyers, and I'm really pleased to be presenting for you today. So thank you, Paula, for inviting me along. So today's topic is emerging trends in workplace law. We do have a lot to get through. So here's a quick overview of some of the topics that we're going to be discussing today. Um, first up, we're going to discuss the High Court decisions in JAMSEC and personnel contracting and how these decisions influence um, independent contractor relationships moving forward. Secondly, we're going to discuss key legislative trends and cases in workplace sexual harassment, which has dominated national headlines over the past 12 months and is also likely to be a key issue in this year's federal election. Thirdly, we're going to discuss psychological safety and Victoria's proposed regulations dealing with psychological safety that are due to commence mid-year. Um, the final two topics are going to be hybrid workplaces and also ongoing management of vaccination requirements. If we have time at the end, we'll also discuss key questions. So first up, independent contractors. On the 9th of February, which was um, last month, the High Court handed down two extremely important decisions in JAMSEC and personnel contracting. In summary, these decisions clarify what the key test is going to be in order to assess whether an employment relationship exists. This has got implications for whether a worker is entitled to minimum rates of pay and potential um, entitlements as well under the national employment standards. It also has potential obligations for um, sham contracting allegations. The key sort of case between the two of them is personnel contracting in the sense that personnel contracting really does set out um, what I would consider to be the key considerations that employers are going to have moving forward. In 2016, um, a British backpacker, Mr McCord, travelled to Australia on a working holiday visa. He had very little work experience, um, having only previously worked part-time as a bricklayer and in hospitality. Seeking a source of income, um, he went on to get his white card and his white card was going to enable him to work on construction sites. In July of 2016, he attended a job interview with personnel contracting and said that he was willing and able to do construction work and was also able to start work immediately. Mr. McCourt had only purchased about $100 worth of equipment, and this equipment included things like um, steel cap boots, high-vis clothing, um, and a hard hat, essentially, to enable him to perform work in construction sites. 